Hello, and welcome to Tip of the Week. This week, the sound's going to be a little weird because I'm not at my office, and I'm in a big open refurb space, so it sounds crazy, but that's beside the point. Um, in this video, we're going to cover how to use a weld outlet or put a weld outlet or a tap into a, uh, a pipe. So if you want a welded tap or a weld outlet, this will show you how to go ahead and put it in. You'll notice up top I have a family that's open. You'll see this little family right here. If I drag this down a little bit, you'll see that it actually says um, Branch Connection Threaded Generic RFA. That's the actual file, okay? Uh, it is found if you do a search. For instance, what I did, and maybe you'll see here, is I went out and I did a search in my program data, uh, Autodesk RBT 2017. I did a search, and you can see in here it has the uh, branch welded uh, RFA and the branch that threaded RFA. Um, these are the ones you can use. They have a weird, a weird name. It, what it is, is it's a, it's a welded tap or a threaded tap. So either of these will work. Um, now again, how I did that, you can see if it's a, I typed in branch connection generic and I found it. So uh, let's see where it is. I can actually say open, probably open file location. And you'll see it's under program data, Autodesk, or version you're using, libraries, imperial, type, fittings, generic. So that's the location if you want to uh, load it into your project. So um, that's part one, we have to load it in. So I do have it open, so here we go. Now, I'm gonna move this to full screen again. I do not have anything else open. I wanna uh, start from scratch so you see there's no smoke and mirrors here. I'm gonna start a brand new project, drop this down, go to new project, and I'm gonna base it off of the systems project here. Uh, that has some basic pipe, et cetera, and it's very, very simple though. Um, you may have a project that has a lot more stuff in it already, so you can start with that. Now, to get started, I'm going to go to Mechanical here, which is fine, and I'm going to put in a piece of pipe. So I'll go up top to Systems, I'll go ahead and put in a piece of pipe, and I'll run that piece of pipe like so. Now, you'll notice it's just generic standard pipe, nothing fancy about it. Um, I'll turn this up to Fine so we can see it. Now, I've got some fine pipe in here, and I think it's probably, it might be kind of big. Oh, it's one-inch diameter. All right, now, currently, if I grab this pipe and I create similar, Grab that pipe, CS, I'll use the button instead. I come off of it, you'll see it's going to put in a little um, T. Now sometimes I want to put a tap in here. So I'm going to grab this pipe, CS it again. Um, I'll make it larger this time. I'll go to like a six inch piece of pipe and I come down. Now I want to tap into this. So what I'm going to do is I grab the pipe over here and you notice it's standard pipes. You have chiller pipe, we have all these pipe types. Again, you can start whatever pipe you're using. Now in this instance, I'm going to use this to standard pipe. Um, and again, if I start and I want to tee off of it, I'll grab the pipe, I hit create, um, let's say I'm going to come off of it, I'm going to come off with a smaller pipe type. Now at the box, Revit is a little quirky because it's going to not even put a reducing fitting, it's actually going to put a fitting and then a reducer. So uh, that's way off. But what I want to do is I just want to tap the pipe. So we have to create a new pipe type. So I'll go edit type, duplicate, and I'm duplicating off the standard. I'm going to say stand, standard uh, with pipe tap. Now, um, or well, the lit, whatever you want to call it. Uh, now, given it that name, I hit OK, and that's all good. You may already have a standard pipe type that works perfect for you, except you just have to add one with a tap. So you just go ahead and duplicate the style you have, uh, the type you have, and then uh, go down here, give it a new name, and then we'll edit preferences. As we come down here, you'll see it says preference type, junction type, OK? What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this in and say tap. Now, when I hit tap, you'll see there are no taps available, most likely in here. You see it's kind of you got a couple of them in here, but not even sure. I don't even know if that transition would even work. So what we're going to do is we're going to load that family. Being that I have it open, I'm going to hit OK on that and OK. I hit Control Tab, and it's going to go to this other one. I'm going to hit Load in the Project. I opened it just to verify. It could be welded also. Uh, load in the Project, and now it's in. Right here it is. Now if you just try, try to pop it in a pipe, it just doesn't work. And that's OK. We're going to get it to work in a moment. So what we're going to do is go back, and again, we've created a new pipe type. So let's go see what we got back to systems, pipe, and I see I've got my pipe with pipe taps. Hit edit type, I go here, and on this time now I have, I'm gonna go back in and say we're gonna use a tap, and this time I'm gonna come down here and say what type of tap do we wanna use? So as I'm going over this stuff, you'll notice that it's I hit tap here and it's kind of jammed up right here. See it says TT and you're like, oh man, Revit, Revit, that's jammed up on me. What you want to do is we have to switch these over. It's still looking for tap. So go up top, hit this to none. I know that sounds crazy. Drop this down, hit it to none. 
Now by doing that, now we go back to it says tap, we drop it down, and you'll see it says branch connection threaded. So it's giving us the ability uh, to put that in. Now I'm just going to change this for both of these. You could remove one if you wanted to do that. Just go ahead and hit it um, like so, and it removes it out. And I'll change this to maybe all sizes. So um, what it's doing is now, now we say, when I use my new one, okay, now I did kind of switch over to chilled water. I'm sorry about that. Um, we can now make this work. So let's take a look. So I've got one called chilled water. I change it to taps. I hit OK on that. Now I also have my generic one in here, and then I got this one, which I'm just going to, uh, I can get rid of later. But if I want to fix him, I'll go here, edit preferences, right? And come down here, it really doesn't matter what type of pipe we're using. If you want to change the name, exact uh, material, come down here. And again, we're going to do that again. Tap, right? So I got set to tap, see it's grayed out. The first thing we need to do is say none. What that's going to do is clean the lines out. And then we go back and hit branch connection. So that's one of those little quirky things there. At this point, I hit OK. And what I've done is I've created a standard pipe with tap, and now my element has a tap also. So now I have a new pipe type. Let's let's check out how this works now. I'm going to grab this pipe, show there's no smoke and mirrors. This is the standard pipe type. Edit type, edit, and you'll notice that it says TT. Okay, cancel. So let's run that first. I'm going to go over here. I hit create similar. I draw a piece of pipe. There it is. Now if I come off this pipe, I hit escape once, kind of off the screen a little bit, but I come back and you'll see that it puts in that particular element. Now i got to tap this thing. So here's where it gets kind of cool. I go up top, and if I want to get the elevation right, I grab this element. You see we're running at what elevation of 9 feet, but sometimes we have to get that exactly right. So I can grab it hit create similar. By hitting create similar, then I can change the pipe size that I want. Let's say I want to come off this with maybe 2 inch. Um, I also, what I want to do is I want to choose the right pipe type, okay? So that's going to set my elevation at 9, my diameter, and now we're good to go. Let's give it a shot. Pick the pipe, and I roll out. See, I've tapped it. Not too shabby. Um, so what we're doing is we actually have to set up a pipe tap set. Now, let's see if it works again. I'll change the diameter. I'll change it to 3, and I tap the pipe. Let's change it to 4, 5 even. Let's tap the pipe. Now it's going even crazier. This may blow up, but let's try it. Let's go if we tap up a six inch pipe with a six inch tap. We hit the pipe, come on out, and we'll see what happens. This guy actually tapped it. So uh, there we go, let's hit it in 3D, and let's zoom in. What we're gonna do is turn this to fine. And you can see we have all those elements in place now. Um, if you don't like the name, if you're running, let's say uh, you've done, if you are running um, some type of quantity, of these things and you want it to be a uh, well it, just take the family and rename it okay uh, you can do that in two places uh, if you've already loaded it and you go oh man I didn't reload it oh bugger it's okay you can rename it the trick to rename it is come down to the bottom I'm gonna expand out my families when I go toward the bottom you'll see we have pipe and pipe fittings and all that good stuff now that pipe fitting was called the branch common thread generic I'll rename it go rename and let's call it weld Oh, let of goodness. Okay, so there we go. So we can find it easy. So we gave it a new name. Now when I grab the element, you'll see it says Weld well, Let of Goodness Standard. So now that's how it'll show up in your schedule if you're using the names. So there you go. That's the tip of the week. Hope you enjoyed it. And um, sorry about the sound. Hope you got the, the gist of it. If I get time, I'll try to redo the video. Um, company is CadTech Seminars or TheRevitGuys.com. Thank you.